Howdy, I'm Angel Martinez. I'm the Chief Storyteller for the Boy Scouts of America, and I have a, a guest on our vlog today. Hi, I'm Linda Diegas. I'm the Outdoor Adventure Director here at the Alamo Area Council. And we are testing some new equipment that we got thanks to our Give the Adventure supporters, our donors in the past. And so we have the ability to hopefully tell better stories, uh, keep the, our scouting community more informed. <laughs> For instance, uh, some folks have called me in the past and said, I hear that National Boy Scouts America is considering filing a reorganization bankruptcy. What's the updates on that? I, I don't know. Uh, the Alamo Council, we are our own 501c3, and so our assets and our camps are our own, and so um, we are supportive of things going on at National. We want to be supportive of our whole scouting community, and as soon as we know something about that, we will share it. But right now, the update on that is, I don't know. So, I know that we have a theme called Live Scouting. We're moving to this new theme to give some focus on the fact that we want everybody to be present in the adventures they're doing in scouting. And Linda's going to kind of share some of those adventures that are coming up. So what's going on with the different programs like Cub Scouts? What's going on with Cub Scouts? What's going on with Cub Scouts? So what, what we want to talk about is that the Alamo Area Council offers an adventure for our Cub Scouts at the council level once a month beginning in the month of February. And so what I really like to do is just touch on those really quick. And then of course I want to give you some details on Cub Scout Day Camp because we just opened that registration on Friday and so now is the time for all of our Cub Scout families to jump in there and get registered for Cub Scout Day Camp. But first we're going to rewind <laughs> and we're going to talk about the events that we have coming up here in the next month or two so that you know what you can look at and what you can be um, active in over the next couple of months uh, you know, at, at a Cub Scout level. So the first one is our Cub Adventure Day and it is focused on all things that float. And that one is February 15th, and it's here at Magenzie. It's from 8.30 to 12.30. It's a free come and go, just a fun half a day kind of thing, and there's all sorts of fun things that they're going to do there. Um, we offer our, our spring family camp out. Oh, wait a minute. I have a question, Linda. Yes. So all things that float, would that include a Cub Scout themselves? Floating? Yeah. Do, do they have? Possibly. Okay. <laughs> Uh, no, we're really going to focus on like bobbing for apples and oh, we're going to okay. do an right. experiment right. with hot air balloons and we're going to do something again in archery and um, try to make that tie into that theme by having them uh, shooting at balloons and things that okay. are actually filled with helium so they're not going to be easily just stapled to the target. <laughs> they're going to be like floating out there that they actually have to try to okay. All right. Fair. aim at them. So a little bit more fun. Um, it's <laughs> Cub Scouts floating angel. <laughs> So then in March at the Mays Family Scout Ranch, March 27th and 28th, we're going to host our Spring Family Cub Scout Camp Out. And so that one is back again to the Pioneer Day themes. It's the second time they're doing that and they're going to build on that theme. So they're going to bring, bring more things that you can do as a pioneer into that theme as well. Then in April, we do our Cub Scout Shooting Sports event. That one is the first weekend of April. and. Uh, that's the one where any Cub Scout can come and they can actually earn their pin or their badge, their shooting awards for BB guns, slingshots, and archery. And it's an hour and a half time frame. You only have to come in for your hour and a half to, for whichever one you sign up for. And what does that cover? Now, the back of Cub mm -hmm. Scouts is traditionally kinder through fifth grade. Kinder through and fifth grade. And that's boys and girls because that it was opened up to girls uh, a couple years ago. Yes. So, like the shooting sports, does that include the, fifth, uh, the kindergartners? Yes. So the kindergartners, otherwise known as lions, they can participate in the uh, archery and the slingshot. They're not allowed to participate in the BBs just because it's not a part of their pro program, but they'll be able to start doing okay. that when they when they transfer up into the tiger age. That's good to know. So, but they can still participate. They can still come out and participate. Um, are they able to participate in our family camps? Absolutely. They're welcome to come with their families and participate. Same as the tigers. They just have to have a parent present with them throughout the entire program. So, yes. Great. Yes. April. So April, besides the Cub Scout Shooting Sports Day, which we're going to host at the beginning of the month, we also have another Cub Adventure Day, okay. which is going to have fishing and some other activities as well. And that one is a lot like the one in February. It's going to have a different theme, but it's 8.30 to 12.30 at Magenzi. Come as you come as you want to. You can come stay the whole time. You can come and leave if you only have a couple of hours. So that's another fun one. Then we do Cub Discovery at Bear Creek. It's the only time that our Cub Scouts are invited out to Bear Creek, and that's why it's called Cub Discovery. 
and that one is going to be, it's so, the way they're focusing the theme on that one is it's going to be a lot like our Beast Feast, which we ran for our Scouts PSA yes. and our Ventures in January. So they're going to get to come out and they're going to get to do some free shooting on the BB and the archery and the slingshots that day. And it's going to be, you get to shoot as much as you want to throughout that entire Saturday program time frame. The other thing they're throwing in there is fishing. So they're going to have fishing and BB and archery and slingshots, just a free shoot kind of thing. Now for that event, the Cub Scouts will provide their own food. So, but that's another weekend camp out at Bear Creek. And for that's families. great. And for those families that don't know, Bear mm -hmm. Creek is our premier camp is traditionally for our older uh, youth and uh, it's located about an hour and 35 minutes uh, northwest of San Antonio uh, just outside of Kerrville in Hunt, Texas and it's a beautiful beautiful uh, facility. I've been to Philmont High Adventure Base, I've been to Summit, I've been to to Sea Base in Florida and I, I maybe I'm biased because I'm you know, here in San Antonio, but I, I think Bear Creek is rivals all those three uh, camps. I absolutely agree. There's nothing you can do anywhere else that you can't do at Bear Creek. Amen. So, and while we're talking about Bear Creek, we might as well talk about Scouts BSA Summer Camp, right? Yes, and Scouts BSA is the program for... 11 to 18 year olds. Yes. So 11 to 18 year olds and boys and girls now, so you can come as a troop. Uh, we have five weeks of camp. We've pushed forward a week this year, mm -hmm. so we're opening just a little bit earlier. So we have three weeks in June. All weeks are still available, though we do expect some of those June weeks to cap out here very, very shortly. And then we offer a provisional scout week in week four and five, and that's when, for instance, if your troop is going to another camp or if your troop is not going to camp but you still want to come to camp or you want to go to camp twice, or you want to come to camp here and you also went to Philmont or someplace else, uh -huh. then you can come to Bear Creek as a provisional scout and we provide the leadership and you come individually uh, for that week and we put you into a provisional scout trip and we offer that in, like I said, sessions four and five mm -hmm. and we'll do both a girls and a boys um, provisional scout trip. And I, I, for those families that don't know, uh, we just recently opened our Scouts BSA program to girls February 1st of 2019. And although we do have co-ed programs where boys and girls are in a unit together, uh, such as our venturing program or our workforce development program called Exploring, Scouts BSA respects sing single gender. So a girl can't join a boy troop. She has to join or start her own all-girl troop, correct? Correct. correct. But they're invited to these events. Correct. They are invited to these events and they can be linked so they can share leadership, they can mm -hmm. share equipment and things like that, but um, but they are separate troops. So yes, uh, so we'll have those guys out there. So while we're on Bear Creek though, yes. we have to talk about the council-wide camp out. Yes. Because once a year we offer a council-wide camp out at Bear Creek Summer Camp, or Bear Creek, not Summer Camp. And Bear it's kind of like a jamboree-ish kind of feel. It is. It's a lot of fun. We have over 33 activities this year and our theme is technology now and then. And so you're going to see a lot of things that are going to show you historical things and then how it's brought to, uh, you know, current what we're doing nowadays. For instance, you're going to have a ham radio out there, but they're going to be doing other things with communication. You're going to have photography out there where they're going to do some old style photography, but then you're also going to see some of the newer stuff as well. Um, we've got some cybersecurity stuff coming out as well to show you some of that aspect of it. Uh, cooking, some of our traditional things that we've always had in the past we're bringing out too. So. But that is the weekend of February 28th, 29th, and March 1st. And the reason I want to talk to you about that one now is because registration for that one closes early. And the reason it closes early is we are expecting about 1,500 people out there. That's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. And it's a lot of logistics to figure out where everybody mm. fits. And so we need that time to be able to plan. So we close our registration for that event February 12th. So you've got two weeks remaining to decide if you're going to join us at the Councilwide Campout and register. And they can do that now, so if we haven't plugged Absolutely. it yet, but go to alamoareabsa.org. We'll put it in the comment section below, alamoareabsa.org, and you can register there. Yes, and there's t-shirts you can order as well. Those t-shirts have to be ordered by February 10th and turned in up here at the front desk because we're going to place that order so we can have them back in time for the event. And as you know, in the past, lots of people have seen our t-shirts. We really pride ourselves on our t-shirts. Yes, we get so those nice. really nice, soft material t-shirts. So. Um, so that event's going to be great. It's also open to Weeblos, 
So Weeblos are invited out on Saturday morning to join us and then they get to family camp that night and stay over until Sunday and we will actually feed you so the registration for the Weeblos includes your food So well. Weeblos is We Be Loyal Scouts? Mm -hmm. That's where it comes from, and that is that is your fourth and fifth graders. That's, so that's one of the highest ranks, or the highest rank, in the Cub Scout program. Correct. Okay. Correct. Not to be confused with Arrow. Arrow of Light. Arrow of Light, which is not a rank. Correct. But it's not. a. It is an award. It's an award. Mm -hmm. I've gotten some calls on that. I think you have too. Yes, I have. So I have. it is an award. So your uh, your Weeblos Dens, both one and two, are invited to come out and participate in the Council by Camp Out. We want them to be able to see what it's like to be a Scouts BSA Scout, you know, and and all the things that you can do as a, as you know when you cross over into being Scouts BSA. Okay. Another question I got a couple weeks ago, and then uh, I think just yesterday. Uh, from a new family looking to bring both a boy and a girl into our programs and they asked can the boy or the girl join a Scouts BSA uh, unit if they didn't do Cub Scouts and the absolutely. answer is absolutely yeah so they don't have to come in a, a certain order to come engage us in outdoor activity and, and find leadership opportunities and values in the scouting program so Correct. we welcome you absolutely um, what else, Linda? Oh, well, <laughs> um, we have taken a step forward, really big step forward this year with our Cub Scout Day. Uh, so. We're very, very proud of this. So one of the things that we're doing is, well, first of all, we're offering 10, right, again, which we, we typically do that on a standard. We offer 10 Cub Scout Day camps uh, in different locations throughout the summertime. And can someone just go and sign up their youth for just one of those weeks? They can, or they can come back to multiple ones. And the reason is, is yes, we have a theme, right? So we have a theme for our Cub Scout Day Camp, which is around the world. But each of our weeks or each of our camps is going to focus on different aspects of that theme. So for instance, we have four weeks here at McGimsey. The first week is gonna focus on Europe. The second week is gonna focus on Africa. The third week is gonna focus on the North America and South America. And the fourth week is gonna focus on China. And so each one of those weeks is gonna have a different internal theme. Your outer line camps, like the Braunfels and Bernie, are gonna take a day of their, of their camp and focus on a different location. So instead of having a full week focused on a different location, they'll have a day. That's good. But even bigger than that, we've worked in some field trips at all of our days. Field trips? What do you mean? Field trips. So, included in the cost of the day camp this year, what we've worked out is, for instance, the first week you're going to get to go to the Whitney Museum. So on Thursday morning, when you wake up, you'll come to day camp. We're going to throw you on a bus and we're going to take you to the Whitney Museum. And you're going to get to, to travel through the Whitney and all of that and see everything that, that you would see you know, with us, basically. So the first week is the Whitney Museum. The second week is the San Antonio Zoo. The third week, I believe we're doing the San Antonio Aquarium, and there's a bouncy house place next door as well that we're including as well. And then the fourth week is going to be um, the SeaWorld. Sea it's SeaWorld. And we're working on uh, working some back, um, back door kind of educational behind the scenes, stories, behind the scenes. Yes. kind of additional so knowledge. We're getting those locked in. Right? That's awesome. So that's something that we're really excited about. Um, at Bernie, when you go to that camp, you're already located at the Agricultural Heritage Museum. So, but the pool is right next door, and you're going to get to walk into the city. And I know uh, I've seen through some uh, magazines and stuff. There's some day camps that run seven hundred, eight hundred dollars or so, mm -hmm. even over a thousand dollars for for similar type of offerings. I know that ours is nowhere near that. Do we, do we know, is it under 500 or what is it this year? It is, so our McGinsey Day Camps are $145 for the regular, for the early bird rate and 155 for the regular rate. Wow, that's so, very affordable. Very, I mean, very affordable. I you can find daycare for that. And we are still working to partner with an organization, a local organization here to be able to provide lunch. So we're just trying to work in different ways every year to, to bring more value to our camps and more value to what our Cub Scouts are getting out of their program. So, so go to alamoareabsa.org now and please look at our offerings of Registry adventure. Day camp. What else besides? Well, one of, the th one of the questions that I get a lot is, how come I don't know about this or, or why did I not hear about this? So I thought it would be kind of important that we talk about the different ways that we put information out. 
We know that we share on our www.alamoareabsa.org. A lot of times we'll pop an article onto that homepage. So if you scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see an article that we may feel, okay, something's coming up. We want to put this information out and it's going to pop onto that homepage. That's one place. Um, that will also get shared onto our Facebook page, our Twitter page. Mm -hmm. Instagram. Instagram. We post some stuff on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And so if you haven't gone out and liked us on Facebook or followed us on Twitter, then you definitely need to do that because all of that information gets pulled out there yes. and shared on a regular basis. And so if you're not getting information from us, you definitely need to do that. The other thing is at www.alamoareabsa.org, if you scroll down to the bottom of each page, there is a place where you can enter your email address and sign up for our newsletters. Yes, and we have two newsletters that come out, an overarching council newsletter, and then we have an adventure-filled yes. newsletter. We have an outdoor adventure-filled newsletter, which because we have so much, like I just talked about, all the things that are coming up, we put all of that in that newsletter so you can quickly just click on links and it'll take you right to the pages on the website to be able to find more information or register. Yeah. And then we have the Adventure Guide. It's an internal magazine to the Alamore Council, and we put out typically about 18 months worth of information, calendar information, mm -hmm. uh, that includes links. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, printed copies that we put out uh, once a year. And so you can come to the main council service center and pick up some printed copies. You can work with your scout service executive in your districts. We have six geographic areas we call districts that are broken up in by school districts and uh, we have a professional scouter and volunteer leaders in each district that help us uh, run the program and typically they'll have a number of these adventure guides printed or you can go to the website and look at the digital version that is hyperlinked to those events for registration as well or more information so. and we're going to release an update right a digital update yes we're going to be putting out a digital update uh, here in a couple weeks. Uh, no. Our plan was the beginning March. of March, so it's Sorry. going to come out for March. round table in March. Yes, and then we'll have the updated printed copies mm -hmm. for our Scouting Expo. Yes. Which is the first Thursday. Which is August 6th. August 6th. Yep, again to be located at the Norris Conference Center. Yes. So. It's a lot of fun. Yes. Big, big gather. Yeah. What else, Linda? What did I forget? Did I forget anything? Um. I know that I'm going to do photography and videography and go down Congress Street with a bunch of scouts report this this weekend for Report to State. And that's where uh, pretty much all of the councils in Texas will, will parade down Congress and present an official Report to State of how scouting is doing in Texas to the governor or the governor's assignee. So uh, that's what's happened this weekend. And, uh, although we do have official delegates and we've closed uh, that part of it, any scout is invited or even a non-scout to come and support the scouts. Uh, come join us in this parade uh, there in Austin. And, um, and one of the nice things yeah. is if you're not able to participate for some of these events that are traveling, uh, Angel's really great about being able to jump on Facebook and do some Facebook Live Yeah, videos. so so, you, so tune in. Yeah, so you can be on our Facebook page and, and watch it happen. All of our uh, handles for all of our social media platforms follow the, the website uh, setup. So the website is alamoareabsa.org. So for Facebook or uh, Instagram or YouTube, it's all whatever that platform is, forward slash alamoareabsa. What else, Angel? Right? Um, Oh, you may be getting things in the mail uh, that invite you to, to join if you've been a past supporter or donor of the Alamoria Council. Uh, please, please know that we count on your support as part of a way to provide these great yes. events and support our three uh, major camps, Bear yeah. Creek Scout Reservation, Majimchi Scout Park, and the Mays Family Scout Ranch. Mm -hmm. And we support over 5,000 scouts that um, we, we take care of pretty much they're putting on a Cub Scout program for them at no cost to them and the school that we go into uh, that very much need this program in their life. And so if you're getting one of these in the mail, it's our Give the Adventure campaign time. Typically from January to end of May of every year, uh, we make a, a very direct ask to say, please help support uh, all the endeavors and the things of, of supporting future leaders here in the Alamo Council and the 13 County service uh, area that we, uh, we take care of. 
So GTA, and then there's a specific event uh, that's going to go on where we highlight a number of what our scouts are doing or have done last year, including uh, life-saving awards, awards of merit, things like that. And uh, that's going to happen February 13th. So uh, you can um, you can either email gta at alamoareabsa.org or you can go online at the website forward slash give the adventure and uh, you can sign up to come and, and be uh, at this event or if you can't be there then please donate please give in any amount helps so. and if you're a unit leader then help us by inviting us or yeah. letting us know when we can come and speak to your unit as well and just explain what that what that is and, and why it helps you know how yes. it helps so. mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's uh, scouting for food is the thing that comes to mind. So every year uh, we work in partnership with the San Antonio Food Bank, and uh, surprisingly, uh, there's there's just a lot of families in the greater San Antonio area, even families with with, with kids that uh, go hungry. And so we want to help where we can. And so every year we invite our scouts to um, put out bags in one Saturday of the month, uh, and then the following Saturday, uh, pick those bags up, uh, asking our neighbors to help uh, support this endeavor, and then we turn that into the San Antonio Food Bank. And so that's coming up here February. Yes, February, February. I want to say it's on the 15th and the 22nd. Yes, February 22nd is the day that I will be here at the Alamo Area Council Main Service Center accepting bags, so if you want to come join me at this location, then uh, hope to see you there. So okay. I think we've covered a whole mess of stuff for Fun. this section. Our inaugural. So yeah, so <laughs> if you uh, have any other additional questions or stuff, put it in the comments section below uh, or reach out to us. And uh, if you want also your scout to be a part of this, we want to invite scouts that want to be on camera and help us interview other scouts or adults about what's going on, then that would be awesome. Uh, you can email uh, pr at alamoareabsa.org, pr at alamoareabsa.org, you can um, fill out a form that I'll be posting here after we get off this, uh, saying that you have interest in being a part of uh, the Live Scouting Newsroom. So with that, have a great scouting day.